Hello and welcome. This is Christina Hills and you are here for the big picture overview of creating an online business. And this is my masterclass training that will come with a PDF download. You'll be getting that later. So in this training, you are going to learn all the things you need to set yourself up for massive success online. Well, first off, who am I? Uh, my name is Christina Hills, and I've been teaching a program called the Website Creation Workshop. And before that, I was in the Hollywood special effects industry. And the most famous film I worked on was Star Wars Episode One. But here is my IMDB page. If you IMDB is like the database for movies and TV shows, and I have credits in a bunch of movies, so I have my own IMDB page. And I worked on Star Wars, E.T., The Extraterrestrial, and Jurassic Park, and it, it was a lot of fun. This was before I had a kid, so E.T., The Extraterrestrial, Jurassic Park, Two, this was a shot that I did, and my job was to mix together the live action with the dinosaur. So I put the dinosaur in, put the smoke on top, put the red light glowing on the dinosaur, and made it all uh, work together. And again, the most famous film I worked on was Star Wars Episode One, not the one that came out in the 70s, but the one that came out in the mid 90s. And as I mentioned before, since 2008, I've taught more than 4,000 coaches, consultants, speakers, authors, healers, and business owners how to quickly and easily create a website in WordPress. Uh, my passion and gift is teaching technology and making it easy. And I live the entrepreneurial lifestyle. And there's me with my daughter. Uh, Maggie, and I decided to become an online entrepreneur so I could be home with her. But early on in my career, I hired an outsourcing agency to build me some websites. So they had built me a couple of WordPress websites. But then they built something I didn't ask for. Can you guess what it is that they built? I'm embarrassed to tell this story, but I've gotten more comfortable with it. Um, my webmaster built his own porn site inside my hosting account. So that was it for me. I couldn't believe it. I was paying him, and then he's spending the time on my dime creating a porn site. So no more depending upon these guys, right? So that's that's what turned the ship and set where I said, I'm gonna learn how to do this myself. And then once I did, I learned that I, I discovered that I could teach it to other people. All right, so enough about me, let's talk about you. So this is you and uh, you're pretty smart and educated, but this online world is a little confusing because it's very ephemeral, you don't touch it. So what I wanna do is give you the big picture overview of creating an online business. Uh, because your website and your business is the heart of your marketing, right? So you have an online business, your website is basically the center of your world on the internet. And I'll be talking about social media, but here's the important thing to remember about social media. You do not own your social media presence. So you're like a renter on all of these platforms and at any point they can kick you out, but your website is something that you own and you have control of. So let's go through this online world with you at the center and all the social media around you and sort of how we weave and move and interact online. So social media, the point of social media, if you're doing it for business, is to bring people 
to your website, engage with them and bring people to your website. Uh, the other way you get people to your website is with uh, marketing and networking events and meeting people in person and talking to them and giving your website URL or a business card and having people go to your site. Uh, another, we, another way Another way to get people to your website is through email, either email marketing, and I'm going to be talking about that, or just a signature line at the bottom of your personal emails that tell people your website. So these are the ways you get people to your site. And then once at your site, then they're clicking off of your site to go to your shopping cart, maybe to make a purchase of a product or service. Or if you do in-person consulting, or maybe you're a healer and people come to your center or your office, then from your website, they get information to come to your uh, clinic or store or, or home office. Or people come to your site and get information and then they call you because maybe you do phone consultations. But with all of this online world and marketing, your website is at the center. So let's talk about your website for a little bit. So your website is your home and uh, here are a few hosting companies to host your website and I'm going to go deeper into that in a different training. But your website is your home and your home has an address and you might have bought that and that is your domain name and so you might have bought it at GoDaddy or Namecheap there's lots of different places to buy a domain name and your domain name is connected it points to your hosting so you buy your domain name you buy your web hosting and you connect it together so for example with the website creation workshop, screenshot of my homepage. Uh, here's a screenshot of my blog. So when you go to my website, you can click on the menu at the top and you'll see my blog. And I send a blog post out about once a week. I also have christinahills.com and that's my, I call it my portal site. It's the main site. And from there, you can find all my other websites. All right, so I'm going to take this poll. Do you have a website? Do you have a website? So either yes, and it's in WordPress. Yes, but it's not in WordPress. Yes, but I'm not sure what it is. Or no, I don't have a site yet. So people are just clicking on the poll and um, just go ahead and click on the screen if you if you just joined us or you joined us late we're taking a poll now all right i think um i'll uh, close the poll and i'll share the results so uh the uh, a lot of you have a WordPress site. That's awesome. Some of you have a site, but it's not in WordPress. A few of you are not sure what your site is, and a whole bunch of you don't have a website yet. So I will hide that. Um, I will be doing a training in a couple of weeks on uh, going more deeply into a WordPress website. So you're going to want to watch for that watch your email for that this one is more of a big picture a little bit more general and as i mentioned before at the beginning of the webinar um, i am going to be have a training that's going to be coming up soon so you'll want to watch for that all right so let's go back to the big picture of building your online business so first I want to start with the social media part. Okay, so let's talk about social media. In 2020, an estimated 3.6 billion people are using social media worldwide, a number projected to increase to almost 4.41 billion 
in 2025. So you can see from this graph the growth of social media. More and more people are getting on social media. And here is the latest uh, stats from the social media examiner who does an annual report on what are the most commonly used social media platforms and Facebook is it followed by Instagram, then LinkedIn, then YouTube, then Twitter and TikTok which is gaining more uh, popularity. So who hangs out where, right? When you're thinking about having an online business and you're thinking about you know, where you want to spend your time and put your efforts in. Um, I'm just going to go through briefly, this is a sort of short synopsis of the different social media platforms. So Facebook, well, everybody's on Facebook pretty much. Uh, Instagram is gaining a lot of traction. Uh, it's a little bit more personal, visually oriented, and I've got this saying younger generation, but really it's it's catching up to Facebook. Uh, Twitter, customer service and news and big celebrities are on Twitter. And then LinkedIn, corporate networkers, recruiters, it's mainly B2B, it's mainly a little bit more serious. Uh, the other social media, YouTube, entertainment industry, it's a lot of how-to, um, people are making money from their YouTube views and people with video friendly content to share. TikTok, I currently don't have a TikTok account. Um, TikTok is a younger crowd, they're short videos, they're a tall format, and people dancing and singing and expressing themselves. So um, I'm not a huge fan of TikTok, but there are people there. And then Pinterest is also a vis very visually oriented. It skews female and it's a lot of crafters, photography, food, fashion, fitness are on Pinterest. All right, I'm going to take this poll. Do you use social media? Do you use social media? Yes, all the time yes but only occasionally, no not yet, or no I hate social media, and then maybe you're not sure. Uh, it is okay to hate social media. I know a lot of people who don't like social media or they closed their social media accounts. I'm just curious for the people here live if you, uh, what you think about social media. So go ahead and click on the screen. We'll get a few more votes and then I'll close the poll. And as you notice, I'm taking a lot of polls today. Uh, the question is for either personal or business. It's just, do you use it? Do you use it? All right, I think I'll close the poll. Share the results. So a lot of you are using it all the time. A good portion are using it, but only sometimes. And a few of you know not yet. And a few of you hate social media, no problem. And then some of you are not sure. All right. My next slide is a question for you to type in the question box. Uh, which social media platform do you spend the most time on, either business or personal? So just type in the chat. And I think. I need to, I should add a, a slide there so people can know how to type in the chat. So hopefully you know how to type in the chat. Um, and we have, let's see, Joanna, can you just read out what people, how people are responding? Looks like we've got some Facebook, Pinterest, um, mostly Facebook, the YouTube, Instagram, but predominantly it looks yeah, like I probably should have Facebook. added Clubhouse to my slides, so maybe I'll do that uh, in the future. Okay, looks like mostly Facebook is what people are saying, and that's what I was expecting. All right, so 
why am I asking this? The thing about social media and your website is you can share your articles to social media. So, for example, I have this uh, article and I shared it to Facebook. So I just took some screenshots. Then I shared that same article to Instagram. Now with Instagram, you can see a picture, but you can't see, um, you, there's no clickable links, right? So Facebook works a little bit better because people can click, but on Instagram, people can actually, they can see the image. Then I also shared this to LinkedIn. So I took the same article and I shared it to multiple places. And then I also shared it to Twitter. So what I did in this instance was I had an article on my website that I shared from social media to get people engaged, right? Engaged with it and then they would click and come to my website. So uh, the next way to get people to your website is networking events, and um, I don't have a slide for that, but let's move on to email marketing. So I wanna talk about email marketing. So here's the blog post article on my website, and this was the one that I shared to social media. I also, when I do a blog post article, I send it out in my newsletter. So I'm just, just, just type in the chat. Are you on my newsletter? You might not have gotten this one, but are you on my email list? I think most of the people here are on my email list. Yeah, so anytime I do a blog post, I also email it out because you're gonna catch different people in different places. Uh, you might not have gotten this one. Uh, it depends when you joined my email list. So if you didn't get this article, don't worry about it. So what I'm doing is I'm repurposing my labor. I'm writing an article and repurposing it. So here's the great thing about email marketing you send an email and it gets people to your website, but then on your website, they'll find the place to opt in and then they'll get on your email list. So this is kind of a two-way street, right? Your website, people go to it to opt in, then they get on your email list, then on your email list, you're sending emails out and sending them back to your website. So the whole point of an email list is to build a, a group of people and create a loyal following. People who like you, like what you have to offer and like your information. So every business, every online business needs some kind of opt-in offer. And if you're getting started and you're thinking, oh my goodness, Christina, I, I'm just trying to get set up online. I don't know if I can put together an opt-in offer. You can always, have a get my latest articles you know it's not the best but you can always do that so where do you put this opt-in well you can have a right sidebar with an opt-in so this is on my blog i have a sidebar or you can have a standalone page where people go to and they click to opt in and here you would click and a little pop-up box would pop up and people would opt in. Then either way, either way you have it set up, they would get to a thank you page. So I call this the thank you download page. So they opt in and on the thank you page is a video and then a um, PDF that people can click and download. Uh, at the same time, a follow-up email message is sent to the visitor. So you've probably seen this uh, many times and you've probably experienced this also that when people sign up, when you sign up to someone's list, 
you get an email download as well as that thank you page. All right, so let me let me use this picture. I think this picture explains it well. So somebody comes to your website, they see the opt-in offer, whatever it might be, they enter their name and email, they get to a thank you page. At the same time, the information goes into an email marketing database and then a series of one or several email messages will go to the person based on what they opted in for. So here is another um, example, my do-it-yourself website creation checklist. You click to uh, download it, a pop-up box pops up, and then you get to a thank you page where you can get the download, watch the video, and on mine, I generally have a link to one of my other trainings. Again, at the same time, an email comes in to the person who opted in, and then they uh, get the download as well. So I always have an email and a thank you page to follow up with the person. All right, so your opt-in goodie, right? People are opting into something, and I call it the opt-in goodie. So when you're having an opt-in goodie that you're gonna have for your own business, you need to decide on the content and the format. So what's your opt-in goodie content, right? So it should be about your area of expertise, and this is gonna be different for everybody. So if you, are, if you don't have one yet, ask your current clients what they, what they might want, or just do some brainstorming. Like whatever your expertise, what could the opt-in be, right? So that's the content. What information are you going to give people? Then you wanna think about your format. So what format is your opt-in offer gonna be? So some people are really good at making uh, uh, Word docs and PDFs and they have information, so maybe it's going to be a PDF handout or maybe it's going to be a video or maybe your opt-in is uh, contact me for a consultation or a sample music. There's lots of different opt-ins. There's lots of different formats you can have for your opt-in offer. All right, I wanna take this poll. Do you have an email marketing system? And I'm guessing most people don't. So don't feel bad if your answer is no. Um, do you have an email marketing system already? you know, something like MailChimp or AWeber, or Constant Contact or Active Campaign or Infusionsoft or Entreport. All right, I'm gonna close the poll. Enough of you have voted and share the results. So like I imagine some have one already, but the majority of you don't. Okay, that is quite all right. And uh, let me just pause. Am I going too fast or is the pacing good? Just type in the, in the, is my pacing okay? Okay, it looks like most people are saying the pacing is good. Okay, great. And again, I will be answering uh, questions uh, at the end. All right, well, here's my quote. In order to email your list, you have to email your list. And that sounds kind of silly and it sounds sort of redundant, but people get used to getting an email once a day or getting an email once a week or getting an email once a month. So if you like to email your list a lot, you have to email them a lot. So you have, to, in order to email your list, you have to email your list. And when I started out, I was emailing like once a month, I'd put a newsletter out and then I kicked it up to once a week and now I'm emailing multiple times a week. 
All right, well, just I wanted to point out to watch for the PDF resources handout that will be coming in your email. So that will be either sometime uh, today or tomorrow. You should get that in your email. All right, so that kind of summarizes the overview of the email marketing part. Uh, now I want to talk about selling online. So let's talk about selling your products and services online. All right, I got another poll. Do you currently sell online? Yes, on my own website. Yes, but on a third party website, that might be like Amazon or something. No, not yet, or no, I don't want to sell online. So it's, um, I'm imagining most people will say no, not yet, but there are some who are selling on their website. So just click on the screen while I take a sip of water. All right, I'm gonna close this poll and share the results. So some of you are selling on your website, bravo. Um, and some of you are selling on a third party website. Like I said, it might be Etsy or Amazon or some other place like that. Uh, but the majority of people here are not yet selling. So I will close that poll. Uh, so let me walk you through the sales process, kind of like my other diagram, a single product sales process. So what do I mean by a single product? Like if you're selling an event or if you're selling a group coaching or if you're selling, you know, one-on-one -on -one consulting, that's a single product, meaning the goal, the goal that you have for the person visiting your site is to just buy one thing. So in this example, they come to your site, they see what they wanna buy, they go straight to the order form, and then they go to the post purchase thank you page. Versus like going to a website like Amazon, you buy, you add it to the cart, and then they tell you, would you like to buy this other thing? And they keep filling up the cart. So here's the example. So I have an online course called the Graphics Creation Workshop. And uh, at the bottom of the page is a place to uh, click to purchase, to enroll in that program. And that one has just a one-time fee. When they click, they get to a secure order form. And this is where they enter their credit card info, and name and billing address. And then on the next page, it the thank you page in this instance takes you inside the course. So there's an in-between stage where you pick a username and password, and then you get inside the program for the graphics creation workshop. And we might have some students here today who are in that program as well. Uh, here's an example of a colleague of mine, uh, Judy Foster. Her site is womenswisdom.net. And what she sells is a membership. So she sells a membership to her community and there's different pricing levels. And the way she does it is people go straight over to PayPal. So it is my opinion that everyone should have PayPal you want to have you everyone should have paypal and there are uh two types of paypal accounts a personal account and a business account so let me explain what the difference is a personal paypal account is for people who shop online or maybe send money to friends but with a personal account you can't accept credit cards with a business account, it does allow you to accept credit card payments and it allows you to do business under a business name and make do a PayPal mass pay. So I recommend that you get the business account. Now, the business account I have, you I don't pay a monthly fee for it. So I pay for I don't pay for anything when when somebody, if I make a sale, 
PayPal will take a cut just like a credit card company will take like a 3%, but um, I'm not paying a monthly fee. So that's key when you're thinking of getting a PayPal account. You want to get a business account connected to your business checking account. You can still have a personal account, you know, if you're going to shop for yourself or buy Christmas presents or whatever, you want to have that connected to your personal checking account. But again, you always want to consult with your tax advisor. Now, Stripe, my next slide, Stripe is a payment processor that allows you to take credit cards. So some people don't want to deal with PayPal. Um, you can sign up for Stripe, you pay as you go, there's no setup monthly or hidden fees, and you only pay for what you use. So if you're getting started and maybe the first month you're getting things set up, you, you wouldn't pay anything. Again, they take a cut, I don't know exactly what it is, it's something like 3%. So here's my how a product is sold online diagram, which was similar to the email marketing diagram. The person comes to the site, they find the product for sale, they click, they get to that shopping cart order form, then they get to a post purchase thank you page and that can be many different things. Sometimes the thank you page is uh, great, we got your order, we'll ship it to you within a few days. So then the money that you've collected goes in either to your merchant account or your PayPal account. Again, the merchant account is when you sign up for credit card processing. And then your information goes into your shopping cart account database and the customer will get an email receipt and any other follow-up emails that go along with that product or program. So walking through this diagram again, here's an example of a sales page for the website creation workshop. And then at the bottom of the sales page are the different payment plans. A person would click on the payment plan and then get to the order form the secure order form where they enter their credit card details and then the thank you page takes them into the private members area and they would pick a username and password and then get into my private members area. That's how I'm selling because I teach online so people purchase my trainings and they get into the uh, members area. So Again, this is that diagram of what I just walked you through of how a product is sold online. So what product do you want to create? Again, just like an opt-in, you want to choose your product or program format. So maybe it's making videos, maybe you've got a video training or PDFs or you're, you've got audios. Maybe you're selling meditation audios. Maybe part of your uh, thing that you're selling has checklists or diagrams or digital downloads. Maybe you're selling a community and so people are buying into the, your, the community forum. Uh, live webinars. Live webinars are part of my training programs. Maybe you're selling software or tools or maybe you're selling in-person seminars where people go online to buy your in-person seminar and then you send them the information and then they show up at the location. So here's another poll, which format is easiest for you? So if you're thinking about creating something online, what's going to be easiest for you? Is it going to be making videos or audios? Is it going to be live webinars or teleseminars? And teleseminar, not too many people do teleseminars anymore. Um, or maybe creating PDFs or checklists or diagrams, or maybe it's something else that I haven't thought of. I guess, I think we should make a note, Joanna, the other, we should have a live events. I think live events should go in there. Just make a note while people it are our people are 
um, clicking the poll. All right, I think um, about half of you have voted. I think I'll close the poll because I want to keep this moving along. All right, so I'm going to close the poll and share the results. So, um, and I see people are typing in, I need in, I need to add in person, right? So it could be a therapy appointment or an in-person consultation or a healing. Um, and so I need to add that for next time. But anyway, as you can see, um, most of, most of the people who answered, it's PDF checklists and diagrams, but then there's also uh, videos and for some people live webinars or teleseminars. Okay, so I'm going to hide that again. So just like an opt-in goodie, what need would a potential customer or client have? And what product or program could you create to solve that need? So when you're thinking about selling something online, you want to think about what expertise do you have and what need does a potential customer slash client, what need do they have that you could fill? Or you don't have to sell your own product, you could sell other people's products. And so you could sell affiliate products on your site. So I, here an example, I don't provide hosting, but I suggest hosting companies. And then I always give out my affiliate link for those hosting companies. And another way to do it is Amazon. Sign up for an Amazon Associates program and then you can add the links to your website and then when people click based on your recommendation, you can earn some money. So here's an example of someone who's a, a health and lifestyle coach and they have books that they recommend that they have listed on their site. Now, it's really hard, just a little aside, it's really hard to make a ton of money from having an Amazon store on your website. You'll make a little bit of money, but it's difficult to have, to make a ton of money. So just keep that in mind, but you know, everything helps. So if you're gonna recommend some books, you might as well, get a little bit of credit when people click and purchase that book. All right, so what do you need to sell directly online? So here's my list. You need a website, a product or a program, a payment processor like a merchant account, PayPal or Stripe, uh, some kind of shopping cart system, uh, an email system, and then I have in here Fulfillment House, that's only if you're selling physical products and shipping them yourself. If you are going to sell through Amazon, then they provide all of that. And actually, if you're gonna sell through Amazon, you don't need a, a payment processor. Um, but you will need, if you're gonna deliver digital goods, you're gonna need a way to deliver your digital goods. So here is my diagram expanded. And so you've got your website, you've got your shopping cart order form, you've got the post purchase thank you page. Uh, in my program, people can also get a binder that I ship out and mail to people. Uh, you need a way to take credit cards or PayPal and then um, some kind of shopping cart system, and then in, often the shopping cart system will send an email receipt, but then you'll need, at some point, you'll need um, um, an email system to send the follow-ups. So once you have an email list and a product or program, you can create a simple marketing funnel. So here is a simple marketing funnel People come to your site, they opt in for the free offer, and you start sending them emails. And then over time, you will send them something, an offer for a program or a product, and they'll 
see that, get engaged, make a purchase, and now you've got the customer as a person as a customer or they're in your membership program or your online course. So this is a very, very simple marketing funnel. Back to my big picture overview, let's just talk briefly about phone. Let's talk about phone, webinar, or Zoom consultations. So if you're gonna have an online business, many people start out as a consultant. You don't have to have a product off the, off the bat. So uh, Zoom is a great way. People are very familiar with Zoom. Uh, a basic Zoom meeting is free, although they do limit the time that you can have for your Zoom call, and they limit the number of people that you can have. Um, so Zoom is one system. Uh, GoToWebinar or GoToMeeting is another system and you'll just have to look and see based on the pricing what's gonna work for you. Now, some people just, they don't do Zoom or GoToMeeting, they just do phone. So they just set up, they call people directly. So that's, that's fine too, it's whatever you are comfortable with. The nice thing about doing a Zoom call if you're a consultant, you can record it with your client and then send them the recording and it really adds a lot of value to your one-on-one -on -one coaching or consulting. So the great thing about an online business is it allows you to uh, make money while you're playing. So that's my husband and daughter and I at Disneyland. We love going to Disneyland and my website is still up and going while we are away and an online business gives gives you more time for family and when my daughter um, was in school was in uh, uh, elementary and middle school she would act in these plays and so i was able to donate uh, my time and my money uh, to to the nonprofit, which was the theater group she was a part of um, an online business lets you spend more time on your other creative projects. So my daughter, husband, and I, we did a little, little web riding hood skit, and my husband played the wolf, and my daughter played Little Red Riding Hood. These are just a few stills. Uh, we did Alice in WordPress Land. That's me and my daughter many years ago. This is also from Alice in WordPress Land and uh, this is from uh, Little Web Riding Hood. So you're gonna wanna watch for the PDF resource guide that will come in your email, so you will wanna watch for that. And uh, this has been the big picture overview of creating an online business. Again, my name is Christina Hills. And I now just wanna briefly tell you about my next training event. Hey, Joanna, oh, there my, you are. Okay. my audio got uh, stuck a little bit, so hold on one second. Um, and why don't you explain about the questions? My, my screen got okay. frozen, so while I'm fixing that, uh, okay. let everybody know about the questions and I'll come back. Sounds good. So if anybody has a question about anything that Christina covered during the presentation, uh, feel free to type that into the question or chat box and you can access it. There should be a little red arrow um, if you're on a, a computer and, or a laptop. And, and Joanna, I have, a, I have a slide for that. So let me okay. just keep going. It's just in a couple of slides. So okay. uh, my next training event will be how to easily create a beautiful website in WordPress. And Joanna, if you could put that link in the chat box so that people can uh, sign up for that. So websitecreationclass.com forward slash webinars. And you will see there are two choices on uh, Wednesday, September 21st and Thursday, September 22nd. I think that's in two weeks from now and we will also be adding a Saturday one so you can go ahead and sign up for that and on that I'm going to go deeper into the website part 
the, you know, uh, creating a website with WordPress because my uh, fall 2022 website creation workshop program will be opening soon. So if you uh, want to create your website with WordPress, um, I will be teaching a course this fall on that. Hold on. Okay, so we're at the end of the presentation. So now I have the slide up about asking a question. And I know those of you who were on at the beginning of the presentation, we already practiced how to ask a question. So, uh, Joanna, do we have uh, questions? Yes. So, Lynn was just wondering when you talked about you know emailing your list how much is too much as far as sending too many emails she said speaking for myself I feel like I get so many emails each day it's overwhelming so the the thing about how much should you email it sort of depends upon your business and your time how much time you want to put into it but when i when i started out as i mentioned i think when i started out i only sent an email once a month like a newsletter and then i slowly moved up to once a week but it really depends upon your market and uh, what you feel is a good pacing for people what i try to do with my emails is i try to have the subject line be really on target for what it's about, and then people can choose to read or not read. Just remember, not everybody's reading all your emails um, every day. And I'm gonna answer, uh, Eve put in a question, how long have you had your online business? Uh, Eve, I started in 2004. So I've had an online business for a very long time. And I started out as a consultant and then I slowly moved from being a consultant to uh, online, online training programs. And that is really what I love to do the best. All okay. right, and and just wanna encourage people to type uh, questions in and go ahead, Joanna. So Tom had a question. I know you mentioned you have another WordPress training coming up and he was just wondering why why WordPress? Why WordPress? Yes. Tom, I go into that in the next training in a couple of weeks, but the short answer is WordPress is the most popular website platform. It is the most flexible. It works for people who are solo entrepreneurs, and it's the system that works well for Fortune 500 companies. So it's a very flexible very expandable way to build your website. And Tom, I hope you do join us. Uh, you can pick whichever time you want. Uh, I hope you join us for that. Okay, Joanna. Okay, and then um, we had a question on what email marketing systems that you recommend. Is that something that's gonna be in the PDF? Yes, I'm trying to bring this up. Yes, we're going to be sending out a PDF tomorrow morning, I believe. Is that when it's going out? Yes, tomorrow morning. Okay, and website creation class webinars. Hold on, let me get this up. Yes, so watch your email list for tomorrow morning. And we are going to send out the PDF that I talked about in uh, today's presentation. Okay. And John wrote in and said that he bought the graphics creation workshop and it was good. And he's just waiting on the website creation workshop now. Awesome, John. So if you can see my screen, oh, let me turn off my bookmarks so it's not so messy. Um, there are two days to pick from to come on this free WordPress training when I'm gonna go more into depth about the website creation workshop. And I don't know if there's anyone here who already been went through the program. We do have a, a discount for students 
who took it before. If that's you, then you can email uh, my support team. On this uh, training, I will go more into depth about how long the program lasts. So I'm just answering John Paul. So okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about building website in WordPress and I'm gonna be talking about my fall website creation workshop course. Uh, Lynn is asking if I can't make either of these times, sign up for one of them. We'll also be adding a Saturday one. Okay, Joanna, do we perfect. have the Saturday? We don't have that as a standalone opt-in yet, um, do we? We do, yes. I think it's, let's see if I can get it. I think it's Saturday-webinar. Okay, if you could, Saturday. You can put that in the chat for Lynn. Oh, um, no, that didn't work. Okay, well, I'll I'll look it up and see if I can give it to Lynn now. Yeah. Oh, no, there it is. There's no dash. It's just Saturday webinar. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, Lynn, I sent that to you. And then um, on the webinar on the 21st, you'll talk about when it starts the website. Yes, all the all the details. Okay. okay. Yes. John says he's ready to take the class. So, so. Uh, John, um, uh, for me, Joanna, that Saturday webinar link is not working, but here's what's going to happen after Wednesday. It will be added to this page. Okay. Oh, I see. Joanna, you've got that there. Uh, John, that is awesome that you're ready to take the class now. Just do watch your email for when the sign up uh, will open. And you can sign up on the 21st. Oh, you know okay. where people can go? We have an early bird notification. If you go to websitecreationclass.com, John, and you sign up, you will get the early bird notification. Awesome. Okay, sounds good. Um, and I'll be doing demos, I'll be taking questions, and it'll be the same either Wednesday or Thursday, it'll be the same training. The only difference is um, the questions will be different. And John, why don't you go ahead and send an email to support at websitecreationworkshop.com? And we okay. can help you out. Yeah. I'll I'll mark his email yes. down as well. Okay. Right. Another question we had is um, if you had any recommendations on how often you post to social media. Social media. It kind of depends. Um, it'd be good to post. It's good to post to social media every day because it streams by people's feeds. So, you know, sometimes you get busy and you can't, but posting to social media every day is a good idea. Sometimes when I travel, I don't, I don't get to that. So hold on. Okay. Um, Eve was asking, which email marketing system is the least expensive for beginners? You know, I don't have that uh, stat on me, which is the least expensive. I think some of the so, ones in the, in the PDF have like a free version that they can try and then exactly. you know, others don't. I mean, people are changing their, um, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to bring something up and talk at the same time. Companies are changing their pricing all the time, so you just have to check, look at the what we recommend and just see what their current pricing is. Okay, sounds good. And so just if you can see on my screen, this is my blog, and what I try to do is post my blog posts to social media. So it depends, like 
you know, some places I'm more active in social media, some places I'm less active in social media. The benefit of having a blog, which is really content marketing, is you can put uh, information out that's not salesy. Like I put out um, uh, WordPress versus Squarespace versus Wix. So that was one of the uh, recent articles I put out. And here's uh, five simple ideas to help you create content for your website. So, and there's a video that goes along with it. So if you're on my email list, you probably got that. All right. Well, if we don't have any more questions, I'm happy to wrap it up here I'm, because we are at the top of the hour. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other questions at this point. Okay. Well, we will send out a replay and we will have that PDF that goes along with the this presentation. And um, do sign up in for one of these webinars coming up in a couple of weeks. And again, if you can't make these times, just pick one and sign up anyway. We will have a Saturday one. I think that's at nine o'clock Pacific. Is that right, Joanna? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, and so that is an option, but that won't come up until after we finish the Wednesday one. The reason why I don't have three listed is it just gets a little too overwhelming. Okay. Oh yeah, here it is. We have this Saturday webinar. So if you can't come to Wednesday or Thursday, you can sign up for the Saturday webinar, which will be nine Pacific, nine Pacific, noon Eastern. All right. So Joanna, it doesn't I don't I'm not seeing any other questions on on the material I presented today. I know it was a lot of information. I also wanted to mention, you know, I talked about selling online. You don't have to immediately start selling online if that should not hold you back. I know especially coaches and consultants, they don't have products, they don't have courses yet, but they want to get their website up and to be able to have online consultations. So of what I covered today, of the big picture overview, let me get that slide back up. Um, I'll just go to the top. What I covered today with this big picture overview, these are the things you're going to want to have in place, but just remember you don't have to have everything in place uh, at first. All right, so I think we are good to go. Joanna, anything else before we sign off here? Because I don't see any other questions. I I think we're good. I don't see any other questions either. All right. Okay, so uh, do watch your email for that PDF and the link to the replay. If there's any part of this replay you'd like to watch again, sign up for one of my webinars on easily creating a beautiful website in WordPress, even if you hate technology. I'd love uh, to see you there and um, help you build a WordPress site. Uh, thank you, Joanna, for helping me out and everybody else on my team. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody.